Hi viewers, welcome to day 4 of our online intensive class. So in today's class, we're going to be transferring our uh, pattern to the fabric. So I have an um, African print fabric here. So let's get started. Let's start with the front. So I'll be folding the fabric. Okay, so I've placed my pattern on the fabric. And then ensure that while you're placing it, ensure that this is exactly at the edge of the paper. Because any extra, if you do something like this, it will add a lot to your measurement and I'm sure you don't want that. So ensure that it's exactly at the edge. And then you hold it down with your paint. Hold it down with your paint so that you can cut it successfully without it you know, uh, shifting. So just hold it down with your pin. Just hold it down with your pin. So once that is done, the next thing we're going to do is that we're not going to add allowance to the side because we added it while we were drafting. So we're not going to add allowance to all this side. We're not going to add allowance. We're not going to add allowance. But at the, at the armhole area, we're going to add allowance half inch. So you just measure so, so you don't take more than half inch. And then when you're sewing, make sure you take everything in. You walk half inch. We're adding half inch. So when we're sewing to ensure that you take the whole half inch. So this is my fourth point. You see, this is the fourth point. So you have to place your fabric on fold while you're cutting the front. So that's it. So on the shoulder, on the shoulder now we're not adding anything. We're not adding allowance at the shoulder point. We're not adding, so where we're adding allowance is the arm hole, the neck. The arm hole, the neck. So the neck also I measure. Half inch, depending on what you want. If you want your neck to be deeper, it's a pip. If that's why we can always make our mistakes on the paper. You can still bring down the neck length if you want it deeper, and if you like it the way it is, you can leave it as well. So it depends on what you actually want. So that's it for the neck. We we'll connect the lines. Connect lines that's for the neck and so for the the this um that's our darts where we're going to be taking our darts well we're just going to you know come here and measure two this is two inches that's from the the end of the darts measure two inches and then we just uh, measure our zero point um that's the same half inch so we're half inch, half inch, half inch. We're going to be, you know, slight, we'll cut it as well. So half inch, just use your tape to measure so that you're sure that you're taking in the right. And then when you're sewing also, you ensure that you're taking the entire half inch when you're sewing. Can you see? So we're going to slash this way. So we cut it like that, come in like that, and then just watch what I'm doing. Also at the end, we're going to add allowance too, as in what you want as your folding allowance should also be considered. So we're adding, we we'll add that to it as well, so that you can fold in your fabric to give you neat, neat finishing. And also, like I said while we're drafting, if you want to, probably you want to line yours, as in, because I'll be using facing. If you want to line yours, you're going to cut the line exactly as you have cut the 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 uh, fabric. So you're going to just place this fabric on your lining and cut it. So that's how you're going to do. You're going to sew the lining aside and then sew the main dress, and then you turn it at the neck area, or, and also at the M or whatever is your preference. So, but I'll be using facing. I'll use facing to do mine and finish it up. And then 
let me just cut just watch and then i'll just cut it so i have a fabric scissors just cut. the other thing i want to say when you're cutting this um, make sure you bend it this way fold it in hold it with your pin before you cut so that you can get a perfect line so you don't because if you don't do this you can it might lead to a little shortage i don't know if you can see what i'm doing you need to fold in just fold your m in before cutting so that you don't have shortage at this edge fold it in before cutting it open so you don't have a shortage so just watch We added half inch and the armor we added half inch. So we're going to the next thing we're going to do is to remember you're going to measure two inches from this point in two inches and then cut. So we are already considering the half inch of this on each side. Can you see? So this is what we have. So that's our side that. So we're going to sew to this edge. I didn't cut it to this point. I measured in two inches and then half inch to my left, half inch to my right. And then so by the time we sew, we're going to sew it this way. We're going to sew it like our darts. The same way we sew our darts, we're going to sew it. Can you see? We take it, we ensure, since we took it, uh, since we, uh, you know, marked, half inch so we'll ensure that we also take in half inch by the time we are sewing so we sew it that way like that and just like we sew uh that so that's for the front you can see but the side you can see we did not add any sewing allowance to the side did not add any sewing allowance to the side and this is our fold point so that's it you can see that's it so set this aside should always Mark on the wrong side so you don't get don't mix it up while you so yeah so this is folded for the back this is our back pattern and this, just like we did for the front we're going to hold it down with our pin we're going to hold it down with our pin and then we cut just hold down so that it doesn't shift while you're cutting Hold it down for you. So the next thing we're going to do is to add our allowance. So also the same, just like we did for the front, we're not going to add allowance to the side because we had it while we were drafting. So we're not going to add allowance to the side. Here's the side. We're not adding allowance. So but around the ambo, we'll be having allowance, and like I advised, we should take in half inch. And when we are sewing, let's ensure that we also sew in half inch. Make sure you sew in half inch. If you if you have put half inch while you're cutting, like we are doing now, ensure you sew in half inch. Ensure you sew in half inch. Okay. That's it. And remember on the shoulder, you're not adding, you're not adding sewing allowance to the shoulder. On the neck line. We are adding half inch. We are adding half inch. Just use a tip rule so that you are sure that you're taking in the right. You're measuring with the right amount. Uh, so that's it. And so for the back, we're not adding any allowance because we already have our zipper. So we're going to shape out this part. You know, that's for the back shaping. And then we cut. We cut. And of 
because this is the M, like I said, here is the M. So at the end, we fold it. You, know, you can also hold it with your pen and cut. And we call it hold it. And then we cut, let's start cutting. You can see, cutting is much easier because we have done the major work when we are drafting. So the major work is to draft it. Once our pattern is drafted, to cut it becomes very easy because you are sure of, you are sure of what you have drafted, so you go ahead and transfer to fabric. Go ahead and transfer to fabric. Slash open, slash open. So here we can notch this point so that when we are folding, we know exactly where to fold. Can you see? We can notch like I've notched so that when you're so, we're going to slash this open. Okay, so I'm going to you know, trim off this edge. I'm going to trim it off. of all the excess so that's it this is the back chicken trimmed off so, so now by the time we take it to the sewing machine what we're going to do is just going to take in at this edge ensure you take in exactly one inch you know, while we're drafting, we, we already added our sewing allowance, which is one inch. So by the time we're sewing, make sure you take in one inch. Don't take in one and a half. Don't take in half inch. If you take in half inch, it's going to affect your outcome. So please, we added one inch while we're drafting. We're taking in one inch while we're sewing. So one inch like that, you sew. You follow the curve. Follow the curve. So one thing you can do again, is that you can on your fabric mark out one inch mark out one inch and you connect the line you connect the line so that you have a straight stitch by the time you are sewing also at this point you do the same thing even at this side this place that we already you know cut out as our back shaping make sure you also take in one inch you understand still taking one inch you come this way you, you know you can decide to put zipper if you like. It's a fitted dress. You can wear it without the zipper. Can you see? So you just connect it. So you make sure you still take in one, your one inch. Can you see? So this is how the shape should be. This is how the shape should be. By the time you don't sew it, this is how the shape should be. So Let's take it to the and then for the for this side you can turn it with a bias tape. You can turn the edge as with a bias tape and then for the neck I'll be using facing. I'll be using facing for the neck. So I'll show you 
was in this one. Okay, so I've cut my facing. Here's for the back. Here's for the back, and here, this is for the front. So I'll take you to the sewing machine. I'm going to sew at the neck first. I'll just sew this way, taking my half inch. I'll ensure I take my half inch. I'll come to the neck area, I'll do the same thing. Then I'll join the sides and the that. Then I'll okay. So here's the front part, and this is the facing. So I'll open it up. I'll open it up to the right side. This is the right side. And then I'll also open up the facing. I'll ensure the right side of my facing is facing the right side of my main dress. And then hold it with a pin so that it doesn't shift while you're sewing. So it's always better to hold it with a pin. So I'm holding it before I'm sewing. it this way I'm sure I'm taking in my half inch I'm sewing stitch always back stitch to keep your stitch in place so it doesn't so you know mine is V neck I don't know the neck that you did for yours, but well, I did V neck for myself. Okay, make, sure, make sure you take in the half inch. If you know you will not be able to get it, you can use your chalk to draw the lines before sewing. You can use your chalk to draw the lines before sewing. So I'm moving my pins. Moving my pins. And then the notch. I'm notching so that you can turn it easily. That's the reason for notching. So that you can turn it easily. You can turn it easily. So turn it in now, and then we'll use an iron and you know, press it. Or I mean, press it. I mean, press it. So I'm going to impress it this way so it can lay flat. So for our dance, you can see. See our dance. So we're going to do this. Pick it together. Make sure it's you know this way. Just hold it this way. So I'm going to run a stitch. I'm going to run a stitch like that, like a dart. So by the time I get to this, I'm going to slant my as in I'll come this way, half inch, half inch, half inch, and then I just end it here. You understand? Just the same way we hold our uh, skirt darts. Where's that? You know. So ensure you're taking in your half inch, and if you're not sure, what you can do is to use your tape rule. Just use your tape rule and measure so that you're sure. And your chalk, just use your tape rule, and you know, just measure. Just use your tape rule to measure. You know. So ensure you're taking it in, and so you take it in like that this way. This way, this way, and then you slant it when you come to this side. So at the end of the day, you know when we're marking it, we left two inches. We left two inches before the bust point for a reason. So by the time we are slanting it, at least we slant it to like maybe an extra one inch. That's why we are sewing. So we still have like at least one inch before the bust point. So our sewing should not get to the bust point. Remember, we left two inches at least. You should still have one inch left just before the bust point. I hope that is clear. I hope that is clear. So while you're sewing, just ensure that you're doing you the way I do back stitch and then you can see what I'm doing. 
some those are ducks and so so we're also going to impress you know so that's the side that you can see the edge is equal can you see so by the time you are doing your own is it should come out this way so let's do the other side so for this side we're going to do the same thing hold it this way hold it this way you see and then we place it under our machine to sew make sure you're taking in the half inch make sure you're taking in the half inch when you get to the end you slant it don't forget to slant you slant it just slant by half inch just slant by half inch so that at the end of the day we still have one and a half before the bust point slash like you know, as you slant it to like half inch so that at the end of the day we still have like one and a half to the bust point so that's it that's our shoulder that i'm sorry that's our side that and then we have turned the neck and if you're using lining i've already told you what to do you're going to cut exactly the exactly the the main you know dress you cut it this the way we did it inside that you're going to cut the lining as well that way and so you sew it separately and then turn it at the neck area so that's the for the this for the front so we're going to go for the back and then we'll go and iron we're going to open press this as well this side that we're going to open press it i hope you know what i mean you open it up and you press you open it up and you press see you open it up so by the end of the day can you see very little you can see this is the the cutting see where it's ending and then i now slant can you see so you need to slant it by the time i got here it's not long i didn't use half inch again can you see i didn't use half inch so at the, here i used half inch and then i started slanting it i started slanting it i used half inch i started slanting slanting and then they just very little can you see so you need to slant it so i hope you understand what i just explained because I want your own to come out more beautiful than my own. Right, so we're going to do for the back as well. So do for the back as well. So for the back. This way. So we're going to start. So for the back, same thing that we did for the front, right side facing the right side. So we we'll run our stitch. stitch make sure it's well placed you can hold it with your pin you can hold it with your pin hold it with your pin and then we sew so just like we did when we were saying before we also notch Notch is like you are cutting it a little and make sure when you are notching you don't, you know, you avoid the stitch line. Because if you cut the stitch line, that means you have to be so. Okay, so this is what I mean by notching. You notch just before the stitch line. Make sure you don't cut through the stitch line. And if you mistakenly cut through the stitch line, you might have to stitch it again. So that's it. And then you can turn it, turn it this way. Let's see. It and we are going to iron open pressing. We're going to iron it. We do the same thing for the second. So like we did, we're going to notch. We're going to notch. Going to notch. Going to notch. So, 
Let's join the zipper. So I'm not putting zip. You can put zip in yours. Then put zip in your own. I'm not putting zip. So just ensure I take any one edge. So like I advise, you can always, you know, mark your one inch. You can mark your one inch so that you are sure you have a straight line. You know, you can mark your one inch before sewing so that you are sure you are taking exactly one inch. So you can be sure you are taking in exactly one inch. So you can just mark. Mark it. Just mark it. So sure you're taking in exactly one inch. You know, just mark it all the way. And you see, we are approaching the the shape, the shape that we cut out when we were. You know, drafting. Can you see the curved part? Okay, let me show you a little. So you can see. So it's you can see. So to avoid the um, mistake, you can just ensure it is one inch. Just make sure it's one inch. Make sure it's one inch. Just make sure it's one inch. Yes, sir. Just make sure it is one inch. You see. Follow the curve while you sew. Follow the curve while you sew. I'm holding my piece together. Can you see? I can hold it with a pin. To compress, this is the back of the facing. That's the back of the facing. We can then use our interlocking machine to, you know, neaten the edges so it does not fade out. So just use our interlocking machine to do that. So for the side. In the front and the side. This is the front, so we're going to join the sides. So we come this way and make sure the two of them are like this. Can you see? And then we join it. Can you see that it's following the shape? See? It's not the shape I just entered, the shape of the dress. The same way we drafted it. Can you see? So that's how yours too should be. So we're taking exactly one inch. We're taking exactly one inch. So when you're saying you can open this up because you're still going to, you know, compress it. Drafted the front was looking, you know, longer was actually not even looking. The front was longer than the back, even after cutting. But now you can see that they are the same, 
Right. The reason is because of the bus. The bus is accentuated, so it's going to take up the the length and then make it equal again. After all, when we were drafting, all our lines we ensure the front pattern and the black pattern were equal. Can you remember? It's not possible that suddenly the front will become longer than the back. So, I hope we're getting it. Now we have done this side, we need to sew the other side. Let's sew the other side. So, this way. Also ensure that the two matches. Can you see? You can see that the two of them, putting them together, they still follow the shape. Well, we, that we, you know, see the shape still there. So ensure you take in one inch. Remember, we left, we added one inch while we're drafting as our sewing allowance. So we must take in one inch. We must take in one inch. Because we added it when we were drafting. Ensure that the, the side that is opened up. Because we are still going to compress. You can decide to start sewing from down to up. There's no particular route to that. You can start to join from the up. You can start to join from the arm long area. The preference Just make sure you're taking in one inch and you can use your uh, you can use your tape root to you know mark it you can use your tape root to mark it can use your tape root to mark it To do this, the shoulder I'm going to open it like this, open it out. You can hold it with your fingers. This, um, this joining, this joining here, and this joining, and just um, hold it. So, I'm hold it with the pin, and then you sew half inch all the way, sew half inch all the way. Here, so here is the dress. You can see I've pressed it, I pressed it, and we compress the back. You need to compress it, let it lay flat. You remember, we did our back shaping, so you need to compress it, let it lay flat. And then I have um, also, you know, high end there. I've open pressed the side that can you see? I can press the side that. You see, you can press it the other one too as well, and then I finished the end I folded the end in as well. So that's our uh, bodies, and then you can so also you can finish the the handle with your bias, and that's it. So that's the end of today's class. Thanks for watching.